This ain't worth a dog's trick. sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Of his hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Need something else? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. He'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood? I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me, and don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burn the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths, fearless, 
Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that bloom. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you are. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Not so fast, Roach. Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to- Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets 
Oh, sweet mother, my little why don't I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... we partners. Sneak into derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Mm hmm So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living? W what's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open a door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... That? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You? I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that Fresh rose manure. in this fog? There's ice cold, mountain stream cold. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. A grave here? Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who? Still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Woods rotted completely. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
What the fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals? You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our name.
Careful. What the hell was that? Wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies? <laughs> Surprised? No, not at all. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. 
Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. I didn't know Iris von Everick, but the paintings here show amply that she and Olgird were a loving couple. Iris must have been happy, once. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. I don't know if you want to be buried with a painting of your husband. But you live together, so maybe you want to be with him in death as well. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. How'd you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everick's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but 
Where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. The spirit from the steppe. Read often, well worn. Painting palette. Pieces of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Probably not right. Perfect match. Perfect match. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. for a special occasion, wine cup, just like the one Olgird's holding. A wedding veil? Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My night... You've seen to everything.
Medallion's humming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face. dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. Just a little different than the main thing. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. Silver thread, pearls, it all must have cost a fortune. Olgird's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. These were lit in the painting, but that's not all. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Olgird? Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait.
another blurred memory. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. She painted all geared, but the details are off, like the Living one in the painting. Is missing something. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Let's try this. Mm, still not right. Living tablet. side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Master von Everick study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. The gates of mystery between worlds. The library of an occultist. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear, though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. gloomy in the winter.
some kind of magic. I bet. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon them! and all geared. A knife covered in blood. Guess all geared got the scars of his shoulders that started winter. smoking. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it, drained to the last drop. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. 
The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Servant, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No. He merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places. Nowhere. The same as then. You do the rest. A large clay bowl. Something wrong. Claw scratches. Small bowl. For soup, maybe. Single place setting. No others on the table. There we go. Probably not right. Think this was yours. A platter. Hmm. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. My dearest wife, letters from Olgird to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade. Especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Olgird.
you want to complete your task. Live happily ever after. Him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the painting on my grave, I remembered the day of my marriage. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how did he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift.
Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. Friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. One thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Come on, Roach.
So long. At the Vagal Bud's feast abroad, the city is swarming next? with rage. Discretionary no, tribute to Venom of Britannia or exile? They say you can mount a point for help to catch that sorcerer. The one he would have been able to do. Greetings to the op. Need a trim. Think you can. So long. Will you make it to the vehicle? It's a stern rule, but a just one. Beg your pardon. Welcome back. So. Long live, except. 